Hi, my name is Akhil and I'm Maya and, and we, we are Harry Tinkers. Tinkers and welcome to our channel. So today's episode is about how to spend one day in Kosani. So Kosani is basically one of the town which is much more peaceful uh, compared to the rest of the other places of uh, um Uttarakhand and, and you can experience Kumauni culture very well in uh, Kasani. Okay, we'll take around uh, 186 kilometers to reach uh, a destination uh, which is in Kasani. So it says uh 6 and a half hours from Chokta. So the Alagnanda river is actually getting diverted from this particular place. So we are basically in the Badrinath uh, highway and uh, we would be diverting towards uh, As you can see, the water has become so much muddy from here. We are at uh, Karna Prayag, and we would be diverting towards uh, Pinder Bridge, and uh, this river would be flowing. alongside us this alaknanda fully mati so we basically start from chokta and Uh, it takes around 190 it's around 190 kilometers and takes around like 6 to 7 hours of time frame uh, it's it's a pretty lengthy travel um, due to hilly areas that uh, you have and pretty scenic as well so there's uh, this place called gualdham which is also famous for its villages yep. if you really want to explore villages you should go to this place called gualdham uh, which is just like few kilometers away from kosan exactly and this place is basically famous for stargazing and uh, that's why people generally visit this place because of the uh, really good size and the first thing which we did in kosani is as soon as we reached kosani we went for stargazing Star in uh, an observatory called uh, starscapes and we actually learned a lot about uh, the stars and other planets It was really very very informative. So after this heavy trek that we did, uh, we actually wanted to take one day rest, and uh, Kosari was one of such places that we actually took a uh, rest. Good morning. It's six twenty, and this is a sunrise view of Kosani. If you can see, there is a there's this mist over there. and the sun is just rising um it's really cold here it's 6 degrees and feels like freezing
as time lapse. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you like the view? Do you open your eyes? And, and the homestay that we stayed uh, is called the Snowview Home Homestay, and the, the description, the details will be available in the description. So we started exploring Kosani by going to one of its heritage places, uh, which is the temple. Which is a Shiva temple. It's known as the Bajna Temple, and it was actually built in 13th century. And it uh, still uh, the temple is maintained really well. It's a small temple, but you can. Uh, actually go there and visit the archaeological area which was uh, excavated later as well so all those things are still uh, present over there and there's a small uh, lake also which is surrounding the temple which is which adds to the beauty Yuppie. of the temple and then after that we just went to the marketplace we love exploring marketplaces because that is where you actually uh, get to see the uh, proper culture and you get the authentic food in their marketplaces so we just randomly stopped in the market and we went to the sweet shop where we found this uh, mithai called bal mithai and it was a very unique kind of a sweet um, and then in the same shop we were really uh, what to say um, craving to have thali again because we have had uh, garwali thali uh, before in masuri we wanted to taste kumauni Come thali on. and the sweet uh, shop owner actually helped us to go to a place where we had um, a little bit of like few things from the kumauni thali thereafter we went to uh, a shawl factory so kosani is very very famous for its shawl as the shawls are uh, woven there only they have these hand loom places where they weave shawl so we got an opportunity to go to the shawl factory and as they well. basically explained about the process uh, and how certain things are actually done how the weaving is done the the kind of uh, materials is generally used uh, the thread which uh, uh, they use and how things are actually done and there is also a factory which is available where you can basically uh, I would say factory. Factory is there. Outlet. Along with factory the factory, outlet. there is an outlet, and where you can actually buy, uh, you know, the shawl. So there are different quality of uh, uh, the shawl that you generally get, and uh, pretty good. And and the price range starts from uh, I think I think around five hundred, six hundred rupees. Uh, well, go up, uh, and uh, that's that's one of the unique uh, things that you can find if you're somebody who is into. Fashion, or you want to, you know, prefer buying shawls in a cold places where you can just provide it as a gift to your uh, family members or anything. So one of the unique thing that you find in Kosani is like this place is like literally covered with oak trees or the pine trees that you have, and uh, it's so beautiful. And I think I think this is one such place that actually went and we got the the pine. Uh, yeah, we just randomly stopped at one place and. Uh... Just went exploring, you know. Uh, just started walking, and uh, we just went and sat uh, in a uh, hilly area, and then yeah, we were just there, you know, enjoying the nature. Yeah, and I think I think uh, there's one such place that generally people say that you would have to visit, which is actually the tea estate. No, we we are from South India, and uh, we we have actually seen Munar and Vainar, you know, where it is filled with tea estate. So we actually wanted to explore that as well how it is, but then we felt it is like just hype. There was literally nothing. nothing. Yeah, and it's a uh, waste of time to not go to a tea estate yeah. in Kosani. Yeah, it's it's you uh, know, and they generally tend to you know, uh, you know there is I believe there is an entry fee that you would have to pay, which which is like basically 
an utter waste of time that uh, uh, you know probably I would suggest not to waste it there. Yeah. Um, another aspect which is there, uh, which is pretty much famous over there, is the Gandhi Ashram, and uh, from there also you get uh, this panoramic view of uh, Himalayas. That's why it's very famous. Other than that, there is nothing to see. You can just visit there during the sunset time because that is the best time you can go there and like watch the sunset. We have come to Gandhi Ashram and this is the view from the place. So it's almost closed now uh, as it's sunset uh, sunset time. So this is how it looks. So inside there is a prayer room and you're supposed to remove your shoes and then go inside. Photography is not allowed inside. Uh, this area looks very beautiful and uh, there are these flowers which are being grown all over the place and there are these uh, so thank you for watching and if you like our video please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel bye 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 bye